created by David Well with the Russo brothers acting as executive producers the last 3 episodes of the Amazon Prime spy thriller Citadel is out we will talk about the episodes try to explain the ending and discuss all the hidden details and predict the next season of the series so if you don't want exposure to any important plot points and character details from the episodes i'd suggest you watch the episodes first and then check out this video so with a major spoiler warning let's jump straight into the video you can also check out our videos of the previous episodes just press the i button and yeah while you're at it please like the video and subscribe to our channel it helps us a lot thank you and let's move on with the video So far in the series we learn that Anders's lover Briel is still alive but she forgot everything in her past and started living with Mason as Abby. Mason and Nadia travel to Morocco to rescue Carter from the magical black side. They are battling an army of unidentified thugs with Nadia taking the lead. Mason on the other hand is still rusty in warfare because his memory and past talents were gone permanently. He hesitantly follows Nadia's lead. They make their way rapidly to Carter's cell. The devastated inmate looks up at Mason and blames him for his imprisonment. The series then flashes back 10 years. Mason and Nadia are having a good time in Paris where they are slowly falling in love. Mason is informed by Nadia that a new agent has joined the squad. She had previously worked with the spy and the agent ended up saving Nadia's life. Mason meets this brave new agent named Celeste Graham at the Citadel HQ. She is currently known as Abby Conroy of Oregon. The agents plan their next assignment which is to go after the Silge brothers, Dutch crooks who trade in narcotics, weapons and prostitutes. Anders invented a new technology known as the Ozki. When completed, this tech will be capable of hacking a whole nation's infrastructure, resulting in all kinds of terrorism and turmoil. Celeste's mission is to go incognito and obtain information on the Ozki. Celeste adopts a new identity as Briel. She swiftly gains Anders's trust and infiltrates their hidden refuge, eventually becoming the twins' lover. Mason calls Celeste on a regular basis to remind her of her job and to keep her seal. Celeste however has not reacted in over 3 months. Mason fears that Celeste would take the Oski and sell it to the highest bidder in order to help David, her brother, get out of debt. Meanwhile, Celeste investigates the Oski, but David apprehends her red-handed and punishes her for her treason. The operations team saves Celeste and apprehends Anders, but Davik and the Oski suddenly vanish. Mason questions Celeste and she insists that she did not take the key but Mason isn't convinced. He shows Celeste live footage of David in his apartment and threatens to murder him if she does not divulge the identity of her customer. As Mason does not get to extract anything, Nadia steps in and promises Celeste a new identity. However, Mason betrays her trust by erasing Celeste's memory completely. Carter confronts Mason. He knows exactly what transpired during the rescue effort. Nadia gave the operations team the order to recover the Oski in secret. Carter suspects Mason is covering for Nadia and making Celeste a scapegoat. He believes that Nadia might be the mole and she now possesses the Oski. Mason and Nadia have been operating underground for 9 years beginning in Athens as Alexander and Jonathan Hughes knew you well. But the wedding ring Mason is carrying isn't part of their ruse. He actually wants to marry Nadia. Nadia is notified by the Citadel headquarters that Celeste has been backstopped with her memories fully erased. Bernard gave his approval to the cover-up, so Nadia rushes over to face Bernard. He confesses Mason was the mastermind behind it all, and Nadia feels completely deceived. She meets Mason in public to address the treachery. Mason claims he was merely acting to protect Nadia. He suspected her of being the mole who stole the Oski. To protect the woman he loved, he blamed Celeste. Nadia admits to destroying the Oski. She didn't want to put that much authority in the hands of anyone. She requests that Mason awaken Celeste, but Mason is unable to do so since her memories have been completely erased from the system. Nadia returns the wedding ring as she thinks Mason cannot be loved or he cannot be trusted. Nadia calls her contact Rahi Gambhir at the end of this flashback segment. She is ready to go off the grid and hopes to go to Valencia. Back in the present, Bernard persuades Anders to release him, but Dahlia is seeing the entire treachery firsthand. She shoots Anders in the head and informs Bernard that one of the Citadel's own spies betrayed them and came to her. They were enraged and gladly exposed their organization. When Dahlia threatens Bernard's family, he is forced to give up some nuclear codes, but his and Mason's family got kidnapped anyway. 
Meanwhile, Carter explains to Mason in Morocco why he cannot trust Nadia. He claims she is working for Manticore alongside renowned terrorist Rahi. But Nadia reveals that Rahi is her father and he is taking care of her daughter Asha. Asha is also Mason's child, but seeing how the father turned out, Nadia wanted to keep her identity a secret. But for the last eight years, as she lost her memory, she was unable to meet her daughter. Then Dahlia's men surround the Citadel spies and she asks Mason to retrieve the warheads from a submarine in order to save his family and their forgotten daughter Asha. The last episode begins 30 years ago with Mason, a 5-year-old orphan following his father's death and mother's disappearance. We discover him at a hospital in Serbia. In the present, Nadia, Mason and Carter are informed of Dahlia's evil scheme. She wants them to recover 5 nuclear cores from a submarine in the Pacific Ocean that is carrying 5 Russian missiles and their daughter Asha will be killed if they reject the proposal. Nadia wants to lead the expedition, but Carter explains only Mason has access to the submarine's codes. Some flashbacks explain how this happened. Mason got on the submarine and placed a gadget that allowed the Citadel to access the nukes. However, Mason defied orders by going offline and installing a backup device that only he could access. He used this to blackmail the Citadel into divulging the whereabouts of Nadia, but Mason's employer Kreese refused to provide him with the information he required. In another flashback, Bernard tells Mason about Asha, but Mason declines to meet her in Valencia thinking that they would reject him. Mason and Dawik arrive aboard the same submarine in the present. Mason unlocks the hatch, but Dawik attacks him. Nadia senses Mason's predicament and parachutes down herself. Meanwhile, it is revealed that Dawik joined the submarine to carry out his own scheme. Dawik knew that Dahlia murdered his brother and prepares to launch the missiles in response, targeting all five Manticore family properties. Dahlia, on the other hand, refuses to compromise, assuring Dawik that she already has control of the submarine. Nadia saves the day by knocking Dawik unconscious. She injects herself with a serum that causes her body temperature to rise. As a result, she is able to reach the missile chamber unobserved. She starts removing the coast from the missile. Meanwhile, Dawik awakens and confronts Mason, who stabs him in the chest. Then with barely seconds to spare, Nadia deactivates all of the missiles. Mason gives her an adrenaline shot just as she is about to pass out. The pair flees to Valencia to complete the deal with Kristoff. Manticore members notice that the cores are encrypted throughout this transaction. Anyway, Nadia's daughter falls to the ground when Carter shoots the guard who is carrying Asha. Mason saves her but the enemies flee before Nadia can grab the weapons. Dahlia is concerned that everything has become too quiet. She burns up her own mansion ostensibly to fake her own death. Nadia and Asha have finally been reunited. Mason is also reunited with his family in the abandoned Citadel headquarters. Nadia and Carter are taken aback by what they witness as his wife Abby is none other than Celeste. Carter informs Mason that he has discovered a new activation file that can restore all of Mason's lost memories. He chooses to go with the surgery in order to discover who he actually is. Mason gets injected and his memories flood back to him. The biggest twist yet is revealed in a final flashback in which Mason went to meet Dahlia 8 years ago. He wanted her to find Nadia for him and Dahlia discussed the death of her spouse. Mason is later revealed to be Dahlia's son and she revealed the truth about her husband's death. The Citadel was supposed to target a Serbian terror cell but they obtained the erroneous coordinates and instead launched three air missiles at UN personnel and their families. Citadel hit this tragedy by claiming that it was an accident. As Mason absorbs this information, Dahlia requests that he hold the Citadel accountable in order to obtain justice for the killings. Mason becomes the Citadel's mole and he is the one who gives Dahlia all of the Citadel's information. That is how Manticore is able to easily destroy the Citadel. In the present, Mason is struggling to absorb all of this new information. Abby inquests whether he recalls everything, but Mason lies claiming ignorance. The couple then embraces, while Nadia observes from a two-way mirror. Mason is fully aware of the truth, but whether he will side with the Citadel or Manticore is still not clear. In one word, the show is bad. Not terrible, but bad. 
none of the characters are interesting, the twist is juxtaposed over the writing and the motivations are flat. The making is also a bit uninspired, however as the universe expands we will be introduced to newer voices which is a positive sign. The next part will be about a citadel agent Diana played by Matilda De Angelis and unlike this one, the next part seems grounded and most suspenseful. However the most exciting project for me from the universe is the Rajan DK one but first let's see how citadel Diana turns out. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video, do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the last 3 episodes of Citadel on Amazon Prime, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of Zero and series. See you at the next one and for the time being we are signing off, see you old sport what we attempt to do is not without danger and I'll be back.